Welcome to CardDesign.Academy. Today I'm going to do another series of form studies in SubD, this time over a package model that I did using the rigged chassis and a pair of human scale mannequins. Uh, so in my last demo, I did this uh, quick line sketch of a classic sports coupe uh, over this package. Uh, today I'm going to do these abstract form studies uh, and really try to explore new shapes and forms uh, on this package. So uh, I'm going to start with um, going into my layers. I'm going to take my, my sketch layer and just turn it way down in terms of opacity. And I'm going to turn on my mirror. And uh, starting with the sub D uh, stroke ribbon tool and a reflective material, I'm going to just draw a quick, uh, quick sub D box here. I'm going to bring this to the to the new layer. I'm going to lock the other layer so everything is is uh, is static and stable. So uh, what I have right now is just a, just a, a very, very basic ribbon that I built. I'm going to connect it at the mirror plane. Just make it as flat and straight as possible just to get it started. And I'm going to go ahead and connect it at the at the bottom as well. I'm also going to fill in the front and rear. <clears throat> so I'm just creating the most basic soap bar shape. So if I turn on a uh, subdivisional surface, you can see it's basically just an egg shape. And that's fine. As I start to add more, um, as I start to add more edge loops, you can see the shape starts to fill itself out a bit more. Uh, what I'm going to do is start adding additional edge loops here. And then I'm going to extrude the cabin. So what I did was I just grabbed the face here and using my middle finger button and the trigger, just extrude straight up. And start to work those those edges uh, to start to mimic the uh, the uh, the cabin silhouette that I that I originally sketched. So I'm going to go back into to poly polygonal view just so I can you can see a little bit better what's going on. And as it just as I add additional edge loops, everything starts to get a lot more defined. I'm going to try to to start to match the the uh, the sketch, um, just just in terms of where the the top of the windscreen is, uh, the roof rail. Get the right amount of width on the cabin. You can see I'm just adding additional edge loops to get it, give it a little bit more definition. Start to get the wrap in the front end. And then for the rear end, um, it's going to have this really low sort of boat tail shape in the back. Just pulling additional shape out of the, the body side. I'm just, right now I'm just trying to capture the uh the the essential volume i'm not really trying to express a theme yet so let's see what we have now you can see as i turn it into sub d it's starting to really look like that elegant classic coupe shape that i'm looking for so i'm just going to bring the body work out a little bit over this wheel to start to get that 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 swell in the plan shape. I'm going to bring these points out towards the corner to, to start to sharpen up the corner a little bit. And the more points I add, the more definition I have. So very quickly, I have a real sense of, of 
shape and volume. So if I go into human scale and, and walk around this thing, it's it's really looking uh, sexy and beautiful. So I'm going to go in and continue to add definition to these shapes. I'm going to get a bit more swell on the uh, the rear haunch. It's going to really get that Coke bottle shape going, that swell. Maybe taper in the, the body side a bit. It helps too. If you start to see highlights go go wonky, um, it helps to turn the polygons off. And you know, just, just look at the polygons and make sure that they're not twisting and turning too much. So this this method I'm showing you is is really um it's more of a sketch method. I consider this sketching more than modeling, uh, even though I'm using surface because I'm not going in there with a pre preconceived idea of what the the design is going to be. And, you know, I'm not starting with a sketch. Um I'm I'm just going in there and experimenting, right? Just to just to explore and discover. So if I put a little bit more if I put another edge on there, you can see how this 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 highlight in the body side really starts to to have some definition. The back end feels a bit saggy to me, so I'm going to actually just lift it up. Lift it up just a little bit down here. Maybe maybe tuck it in a little bit. You know, just just trying to get the proportion and stance right. The back end does feel exceedingly long, so I'm going to just shorten it up a little bit. And it's just amazing how quickly you can make those those kind of changes. Because now, now the car's just got a much more elegant, elegant tapered look to it. I'm just tuning these, this this highlight line. I want to get a lot more definition on this front fender as well. So I'm I'm uh, I'm pulling these edges closer together and giving that front fender a bit a bit more loft through here. Maybe bringing it in a little bit so we can <clears throat> so we can maintain a consistent uh, light read. You, when you're working polygonally, you you want to try to get your your um, polygon faces to to kind of face the same direction and not lean in and out too much. And that's how you're going to maintain really good control of your surfaces and your and your uh, reflections. So I'm going to go in and cut a hole for the front end. So what I'm going to do is just take these faces and delete them. And just try to generally match the, the shape of the, of the hole that I sketched. Now again, I'm looking for consistency on these, uh, on these polygons so that they, they don't tumble in and out of each other. You can see I've got this little little lump right here. So what I'm gonna do is, is I really want to soften up this corner. So I'm just getting getting these this 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 uh this pair of edges that's running through and defining the body side. I'm just getting it to to splay out so it so it softens up in the corner. One thing about working in sub D surfaces is you can really um get a lot of subtlety in your in your uh in your forms and then for the for the intake i can just grab the whole periphery of it and extrude it in to give it that um sort of sort of jet jet intake look and i can go really deep with it too you know put a sharper edge on it So very quickly, I have a, a a nice baseline shape, right? And I can still see my sketch, so I can see what the design intent is in terms of forms and graphics and and lines and door cuts and things like that. But this is really about form exploration, so I, I'm not trying to execute uh, a specific design. What I want to do is explore form. So 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this, this body. So I'm going to, I'm going to save what I have. And I'm going to duplicate this body shape. And I want to do a series of, of form studies. So I'm going to, I'm going to bring this, I'm going, to, I'm going to make a copy of this and bring it straight back. As you can see, as I'm moving it, I have a numerical number here. So, so if I want to move it a specific amount, let's say five meters, right? Maybe let's go to, let's go to six meters. And that way, if, you know, if I want to bring, bring it back, if I want to take one of the other form studies and bring it back to that same position, I can do that. And it's really cool looking without the wheels. Um, so what I want to do now is start to get a little bit more adventurous with the forms. And so I'm going to go in and just start kind of pushing and pulling. You can see as I, as I pull these points, I get some very interesting highlights. Maybe on this one, I'll, I'll bring the, the back end up a little bit. And maybe get a little bit more of a like a shark nose and and more 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 kind of a, a tapered look to the front end, you know, where it really looks like the grill is leading the car. And I'm take all of this 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 form vocabulary, take it further back. You can add additional geometry to to really define those those uh those forms so you can see i'm starting to get some really interesting shapes here maybe on this one i i cut away the rear you know adding adding additional edges here to give it more more uh more tension more structure but then You know, maybe I cut away the rear. So I'm getting a nice highlight through here. And then I can grab this entire uh, periphery and, and bring that in as well. And maybe, you know, maybe I want to soften up this corner a bit. So, so I take out some of these extra edges down here. So that's a pretty interesting looking shape. But maybe I want to go even more extreme. So I'm going to duplicate it again, bring it six meters forward. This time I'm going to go into polygonal view and I'm going to see if I can really rearrange these, these, pol these uh, polygonal shapes. Bring the back end way down below the below the fender, but bring the back end up a little bit. You know, maybe maybe I I drop the nose way down. So it's got this ultra low hood. Maybe I just fill the whole thing back in. And then I can start to add additional geometry to really define those uh those those faceted areas. The more the more edges you add, the more the more defined and crisp everything gets. So you can see I'm starting to get this double double crisp line here. Those are just some very classic shapes. What if I wanted to do something really extreme? So I'm going to take my original uh, soap bar design. I'm going to move it over here. And delete this one. And I'm going to try something a bit different. 
I'm going to go in and start to bring in one of my prefabs. So if you remember the aerial vehicles that I did. So I'm going to try a new experiment. I'm going to bring in one of my aerial vehicles that I did. And I'm going to try using that as a form study for this, for this vehicle. By starting with something that was never intended to be this car, um, I can stretch and pull it into something that might be a lot more futuristic and dynamic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, first un ungroup it. I'm going to delete the propeller rings. I'm also going to uh, turn on my grid. Uh, I'm going to turn my grid and just turn this thing around. By using the grid, I can I can make it turn 180 degrees perfectly and stay on the mirror plane. So I'm going to bring this uh, this form down, and I'm going to start to experiment and see how it looks on this on this package. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a a rotation just to get the gesture right, get it positioned. I think I'm going to align it more at the front. Okay, so now I'm going to um, turn on my control points, and I'm just going to start stretching and pulling and see what happens. First thing I want to do is try and capture the, the cockpit position, because I think that's a critical part of this particular vehicle. That is a very interesting car already. Much more interesting, much more futuristic than the uh, the classic design. So the more the more I stretch and pull these these uh, polygons, the more interesting uh, reflections that I get in the body side. I'm gonna extend. Uh, I'm gonna extend the back end quite a bit here and bring it down. That is a very, very interesting car. Very elegant, very sleek, very futuristic. Very cool. So let's try another one. So there you have a series of very, very interesting form studies based on this classic coupe proportion. I'm going to go in and just switch these two because I really like this one the best. It's just, it's beautiful, elegant, dynamic, and very futuristic at the same time. But you can see how very quickly you can generate some very interesting forms and shapes and you can create a bandwidth between futuristic and classical. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next demonstration.